Hey guys, it's day 32, I believe. Oh, so you can see I'm working on my house. Um, yeah, praying there's no more hurricanes this year. Anyway, um, really quick, let's go on and say our prayer. Hope you guys are having a good day, good evening. Um, wow, I'm still on that book, The Devil and Karl Marx. And I have more and more, you know, just like light bulbs going on and, and things hooking together. It's an amazing book. I highly, I mean, you can do it on audibles or um, I'll read it. But I just want to say that the things I'm learning, I'm just shaking my head. And I realize that the enemy has been just um, weaving his web. And, you know, the scripture says that we're to be as gentle as, well, wise as serpents, but gentle as doves, right? And I feel we've not been as wise as serpents. We have gone about our day. You know, Matthew 24 talks about in the end, it'll be just like as in the days of Noah. And they're going about their business and marrying and eating, right? And I know a lot of times there's a lot of other references that will go back to um, Genesis 6, 7, and 8, but, or actually Genesis 6, but I think a part of that also is that as in the days of Noah, people were just going about their business, ignoring what they needed to pay attention to. You know, you have Noah who's actually out preaching while he's building the ark. He's preaching to them. He's preaching repent, uh, repentance. It's said that he and Mezuzah, Mezuzah, no. Was whatever. Can't even say his name right now. The point is, Noah was preaching. And in the times of Noah, you just had people going about their business. I feel like we might be in that time. Um, I think that as believers, we have really just ignored a lot of things around us. Um, and just been more attentive to our own personal needs. So, Let's say our prayer, and we're going to be repenting for that today. All right. Lord, I thank you so much that we live in a country that we can worship you. Uh, we live in a country that we can gather together. Lord, you say when two or more are gathered, um, that we can be reflections of you. Lord, I just repent for myself for my family, for my nation, for the world, my community. Lord, I repent that we have been preoccupied with just everyday life and not stopped and looked at, at how we became the frog in the boiling water. Lord, I just repent for where we've allowed um, a hundred year plan to literally come to fruition right before our eyes and still are unaware of what is being presented before us. Lord, I repent for as all the violence that happened at the end before Noah, there was violence man upon man and against beast and just, just violence, not even seeing or remembering that, that we're created in your image. That was being perverted and adulterated. And Lord, we're back there. Lord, I just, I repent for where we don't see your likeness when we see people. Where we don't see that we have been created in your image. And Lord, even if we're dealing with someone who's unrepentant or completely ungodly, that the sanctity of life remains the sanctity of life because you gave it. And you've not given us the, the authority to just decide to put somebody down. Um, thank you, Lord, that we're not held responsible to be those kind of judges, but you judge the heart. Lord, I just ask you that you would help all your believers at this time, Lord, that you would help us to be diligent. When you prayed, when Yeshua prayed, he asked Peter and them to please pray also, and they, they couldn't. And he told Peter that if only you had been able to stay awake and pray, he could have not fallen in a time of temptation and denied Messiah. Lord, I ask that we be strong in this time to pray that we not end up being like Peter 
who, if only we had prayed, if only we had been alert, if only we had done what we were asked to do, would have been able to not fall for the temptation or fall into the temptation. Lord, I give you my heart, my mind, eyes, my ears. Lord, I ask you that that all those around who have a heart for you, that you'd give them ears, you'd give us ears, you'd give us eyes to see the truth and to not allow the world to define what we're seeing, but your word, that we rely more on the words that you've given us than the words of the world and the tradition of men. Lord, if we see something, Quicken our hearts to know the difference between truth and lies. Quicken our hearts to know the difference between perversion of good and evil. Where evil is being made to be good and good is being made to be evil. And give us the strength to stand to say, no, that is wrong. Or no, that is right. Give us the strength to stand. Lord, that we might be this little lights like those of the sky, <laughs> um, that, that even in the great darkness, you still can see the light. May we be those lights to the world. May we walk in your ways. May we become sensitive to your pulling and to your leading. And may we be obedient. You say that the children of disobedience will be caught as if a thief in the night. But to those who are in the light and obedient, there won't be surprise when you come and when these things happen. I thank you for that. In the name of Yeshua Hamashi, in the name of Jesus Christ. Guys, have a great day and um, enjoy your family. Keep a smile on your face because remember, your joy doesn't come from your situations. Your joy comes from the Lord. And keep that as a real anchor and get in the word. We're going to need it. Have a great day. Bye.